Hi everybody and welcome back to another multimeter video review. My name is Darren and thanks for joining. The popularity of the uh, Sanwar review that I did uh, a few weeks back uh, was actually quite significant. Uh, it's had more views, more hits than uh, any of my other videos. There's obviously an interest for uh, some Sanwar products out there. So I thought it would be interesting, maybe a little bit of fun, if we could um, just do a comparison. Um, so in front of you, you've got two uh, Sanwa CD732s. Um, they're both the same revision, uh, pretty well made at the same time. And beside them is, of course, our old friend, Mr. Fluke 87V, or 5. So what we're gonna do today is do a comparative voltage test. We'll see how the two Sanwas compare with each other. And we will be comparing them to the Fluke 87 in real time. So let's go take a quick peek and see what we've got. For the test itself, I'm using a 8584M uh, voltage tester. I'll just sort of bring it in here. It's quite accurate. I've uh, been benching it the past little while. It's got four voltage settings, a 2.500, a 5.000, a 7.500, and a 10.000. So that's kind of nice. It makes it rather simple. Some of these voltage references have uh, four or five digits that are all over the place, and unless you cut and paste it and put it somewhere, it's hard to know exactly how well on spec you are. But uh, this one's kind of nice. It's using the old keep it simple, stupid method. All right, so... Without further ado, let's start testing. Right now we've got the 8584M on the 10.000 voltage. Um, the Fluke 87 is 20,000 count. The two Sanwa 732s are both 6,000. But I will just bring up the resolution on the Fluke just so that we can get a really good comparison. So 10.0 is what the 584 voltage reference is telling us. Currently, well, there you go. So the fluke is spot on, 10.000. Sanwa in the middle, spot on, 10.00. And the Sanwa on the left, 9.99. Great. Now we're going down to 2.500. By the way, I've had the 584M. Oh, just, it's about to go to sleep, so I'll just turn them back on. The uh, 584M has been warming up for about 15 minutes or so. Um, that's usually par for the course if you want to get a, an accurate reading. Okay, so we're now at 2.500, according to the voltage reference. We've got 2.496, San on the left, the 2.499 in the middle, and the Fluke 2.497. Okay, so we're gonna take it up one more notch now. Now we're at 5.000 volts and what do we have well the fluke um a little bit of flutter there we go back and forth pretty close 5.000 showing on the float that's fluke that's spot on 5.002 for the sanwa and lo and behold 4.995 for the other sanwa that one's about five counts off Still well within spec. And the last voltage reference, 7.500. And they're all showing 7.49. We don't have the accuracy of the fluke, obviously, but pretty well on par for that last voltage reference. So there we have it. That was a quick rundown 
the Sanwas, the 732s, I'm very happy with them. Um, excellent uh, little multimeter. Small, compact, but sturdy, well made. I've got zero complaints. I think it's a perfect uh, addition to anybody's uh, workbench or toolbox. It's got great input protection and it's fairly accurate. Um, I really can't say anything bad about these Sanwas. Now, they're not true RMS, unfortunately, but if that's not a must-have feature for you, then go for it. The price is around $100 Canadian, made in Japan. It's a great bang for the buck. It's a quality, uh, quality instrument. The other thing I'm going to go through today as well is we will uh, do a quick continuity test with these Sanwas. I had forgotten somehow with my previous uh, Sanwa review to do the continuity, but I will do that shortly. The last thing I want to demonstrate here is the, um, the bar graph. Uh, I was conversing with various people. Uh, one of them was Joe, the uh, fellow gent who has some great videos out there. He loves to blow things up and uh, it's great fun and he's uh, got a lot of knowledge. He was saying that he found the uh, Sanwa 732, the bar graph indicator, he said it was slow. So since we have them all out, um, I'm going to hook up uh, DC power supply and we'll take a quick peek in comparison and just see in fact is it slow or is it not so slow. Okay, so currently we're sitting at around 1.3 volts. So let's watch the uh, bar graph indicators and uh, compare them. Now we're up to four, five, six, seven, eight volts. Mm -hmm. Twenty six back down to bring it up again. One thing about the fluke, you'll notice you've got this uh, high voltage indicator that shows up at around thirty volts. Um, personally, I find it a little annoying. Mm -hmm. However, uh, you know, your mileage may vary. So I'm going from 0 to 30 volts. They're obviously on the bar graph scale. They're, uh, the 1 is a 10 volt increment, so 10, 20, 30. And I'm just manually adjusting my DC power supply. So there you have it. Let me know what you think. Um, personally, I think it's pretty good. Uh, it's a little easier on the eye as well for myself um, compared to the Fluke. But I'm not dissing the Fluke, believe me. I love my Fluke 87. I just don't think there's anything wrong with the uh, bar graph on the Sanwa. I think it's, uh, you know, really nice. Alrighty. So, what we will do now is a quick continuity review with the Sanwa. nice thing about this Sanwa is the fact that it has um, not only the audible but a visual indicator. So if you're in a noisy environment, what have you, you know, you're not always going to hear your multimeter blaring. So it's always nice to get that visual indicator. You know, surprisingly, most multimeters, even the high-end ones, don't have a visual indicator. And I don't understand why. It just makes perfect sense. Um, obviously the Fluke, once again, there's no visual, visual indicator. You'll see sometimes the, uh, the screens will flash, what have you, but I really prefer a separate um, indicator that's stri strictly for continuity. Okay, so here we go. It's the Sanwa in the middle, and we're going to test for continuity. We're using the Wonderful Sanwa leads, gold tipped. Here we go. So there you have it. It's not super fast when it comes to continuity.
there's a, definitely a delay. So in terms of continuity, a thumbs down for the Sanwa. It's too bad. The visual indicator is really nice. The, I hope you can see it. It's the red LED in the middle. It's really handy to have, very nice. But unfortunately, as you can see, it is slow. Disappointing. Oh well, what can you do? Believe it or not, I'm using an XL DT9205 for uh, most of my circuit testing uh, when doing quick continuity checks on uh, motherboards or power supply boards and LCD monitors, what have you. Uh, this cheap, cheap $12 multimeter is incredibly fast when it comes to continuity. Alrighty, so that's too bad. Um, there you have it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I missed in my first review. I don't think so, but if there's, if there's anything else you'd like to see for uh, these Sanwa 732s, let me know. Until the next video, keep on testing.